It's time for our health report and joining us now is Africa 54 health correspondent Lenore Mudu to tell us about radiology and domestic violence. Lenore? Thank you, Esther. Actually, we will talk about measles today. The western U.S. state of Washington is battling a measles outbreak that has affected more than 40 people, the majority of them children. The disease was declared eliminated in the U.S. in 2000, but has since made a comeback that is tied to imported cases and the rise of the anti-vaccine movement. The majority of those infected are children, many of whom have not been immunized against the disease, officials say. Health officials have warned that people infected with the disease had visited areas such as schools and churches. They added the outbreak could still be in its infancy as the incubation period of the virus averages 14 days. Those infected can spread measles to others four days before and four days after the rash appears. The highly contagious disease can cause severe diarrhea, pneumonia and vision loss and ultimately can be fatal. Incredibly contagious. Uh, you can be in a room uh, if you're susceptible. You can be a room in a room that somebody with measles left two hours earlier and still get the disease. If you're if, if a person with measles meets a population that's unvaccinated, about 90% of folks are going to get the disease. The impact of this current outbreak has been pretty significant in our area. Um, Washington and Oregon tend to be somewhat of a region where we immunize less than other parts of the country, and we're seeing the effects of that. Certain populations have been exposed to the measles, and we've had a significant uh, issue the last few weeks. And unfortunately, I hope I'm wrong, but I think the cases are going to get more frequent and uh, spread throughout the country um, from this epicenter. According to the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, at least 10 states have reported cases of measles in 2019, including California, New York, and Texas. The outbreak has renewed a debate over the so-called anti-vaccination movement, in which fears about potential side effects of vaccines have led a small minority of parents to refuse to allow their children to be inoculated. Meanwhile, in Europe, more children in the World Health Organization's European region are being vaccinated against measles than ever before. But progress has been uneven between within countries, leaving increasing groups of susceptible individuals unprotected and resulting in a record number of people affected by the virus in 2018. According to the WHO's measles data for the year 2018 released Thursday, Monthly country reports from January to December 2018 shows that over 82,000 people in 47 countries contracted measles in the European region, causing the death of 72 children and adults. The total number of people infected with the virus in 2018 was the highest this decade. The European Vaccine Action Plan 2015-2020 lays out a strategy endorsed by all 53 member states to eliminate both measles and rubella. At least 95% of every population needs to be immune through two doses of vaccination or prior exposure to the virus to ensure community protection for everyone, including babies too young to be vaccinated and others who cannot be immunized due to existing diseases and medical conditions. 